Tonight we're learning more about a tragic accident in Clarence Center. The rollover crash killed the 19-year-old driver. This happened Sunday morning on Tonawanda Creek Road. There were five people in the car when the vehicle slammed into a tree and a fence. News 4's Dave Graber has the latest on the investigation. Dave. Well, Donna Jackie, residents living along Tonawanda Creek Road in Clarence Center who witnessed yesterday's fatal crash say they woke today still shaken. The images and sounds from the scene just outside their doorsteps still very fresh in their minds. I heard bang, like an airplane bang quite loud. And I jumped up and I went to the front window and I looked twice and I saw part of the car behind that tree and I became hysterical. Jean Bass, who lives across the street in Clarence Center, said she yelled for her husband and he ran out the door shirtless in the freezing morning. The bang was just, just goes over and over in our heads, you know. Today, flowers mark the gouged tree hit by the vehicle driven by 19-year-old Shelby Adamzak of Clarence. The sheriff's office says the car veered off Tonawanda Creek Road, hit the tree, and then this fence before coming to rest. Fresh tire tracks mark its final path. Molly Gibson, who also lives across the street, helped her father tend to the victims. I saw my neighbors out at the car helping who they could and reassuring everyone that help was coming and everything was going to be okay. Nobody woke up on Sunday thinking a tragedy was going to occur. Like, you just, you just don't take any day for granted. It's sad. Four others were in the car at the time of the crash. The status of their injuries are unknown, although deputies on the scene yesterday told News 4 at least one other person was seriously injured. Shelby later died from her injuries. It's just too young. I don't know. It's just not supposed to happen in that way or at that age. I can't even imagine the families or friends or anything. Like, I don't even personally know them, and I'm just, just very distraught by the situation. Now coming up on News 4 at 6, you'll hear from neighbors who say the stretch of Tonawanda Creek Road where Shelby was killed is dangerous. They say people drive too fast and there is very little protection and room if you drive off the road. We'll have more on that, including the investigation still being uh, looked into by authorities. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dave Graber, News 4 at 5.